come in today for my week two weigh-in. Well, there you have it. I am down another 0 0.8 pounds for a total loss over two weeks of 1.6 pounds. So my current weight is now 201.6. So I'll just talk a little bit about what I did well and what I can still improve upon. So as far as my eating, I stuck to the ketogenic diet and I will put up my daily net carb counts on the screen here so you can see that. My goal was to stay under 20 net carbs so you can see a few days I went slightly over that and a few days I was under that. One thing that I need to improve is to keep better track on the weekends. I know in my head that I did not go over off plan, but I didn't write it down. So that's why you don't see any carb counts here for Saturday and Sunday. I also had a goal to do one 24 hour fast. I did do that on Tuesday and you'll see that's why my carb count is so low on that day. I also did better with the intermittent fasting by not eating until 10 and stopping at six. Now, of course, on Tuesday, when I started at 5.30, I didn't end by 6. So I would say that I did the intermittent fasting successfully six days of the week. Also, I exercised four days out of the seven. I started my period on Thursday night, and so I didn't feel well on Friday. I decided that the sleep was going to be better for me than the exercise. I feel okay with that choice and I'm proud of myself for working out for four days. I also met my goal of drinking at least 80 ounces of water every day and I'm trying to continue that this week. Over the weekend I noticed that I got a really bad headache on Saturday and Saturday evening and then into Sunday and I, the only thing that I can think of that was different was I didn't take my vitamins and I didn't take my natural calm which is magnesium that I take every night. I didn't take that Friday night or Saturday night. And for a ketogenic diet, it's very important that you get enough electrolytes and magnesium and potassium. So I did take some magnesium Sunday morning and the headache went away and I felt a lot better. So I will do better this next weekend to make sure that I stay on track with my routine. So overall, I'm happy with the progress that I'm making. I'm a little short of the one pound per week, but I expect that I will make that up at some point. I want to talk just a minute about the scale and tell you why it doesn't really bother me that I'm not at the full one pound because one pound on the keto diet per week should be very doable, if not more. So this is what, I'm going to put my weights on the screen. I weigh myself every day, and I know that doesn't work for everyone, but it works well for me because I like to see what's happening. I know that my weight is comprised, like I talked about last week, of everything, including your bone structure, what, how much waste and water that you still have in your system, and of course, your body fat. So you'll see that I started out the week at 202.4 and then I went down fairly quickly throughout the week. On Thursday I actually hit 200.0. I was so close to be back in Wonderland. But then each day it went up just a little bit more. And then today it went back up to 201.6. So I'm not too upset. My average is still really good and I'm still trending downward. So even though it looks like my weight shot up every day from midweek to now. My trend is still showing that I'm losing. So that is what I really like about tracking the average. But again, daily weighing isn't for everyone. It works well for me. I have my meal plan ready for next week. And I'm going to be sticking to a very similar way of doing things that I did over the last two weeks. I'll keep my net carbs. I'll try to keep them at 20 net carbs or less per day. And then, and then I plan to exercise. I hope to get five days in this week. 
So I'm still doing the 80 day obsession workouts and those are going well for me. They're not, they're pretty low impact, which works well for me. I don't jump around very well. So I really like the workouts so far. They're just really long, but that's okay. That's what I need. I will still plan to intermittent fast, except for on Tuesdays, I will be doing my 24 hour fast. So I'll eat around six o'clock. And then I'll, I'll be done. I'll still intermittent fast because then the next morning I'll, it might just be 15 and a half hours instead of 16 and I'm okay with that. I'm also trying to be more aware of how much I'm walking at work. I do sit at a desk all day so I'm trying to get up and move around a little bit more and increase those Fitbit steps a little bit. So that is my plan for the week and also for my group who is doing amazing. I just want to give you guys some kudos and let everyone know that even though we haven't quite got all of the weigh-ins yet, we are up to 90 pounds lost already in week number two. So keep going after it and just keep making good daily choices and those all will add up over time. And again, I'm so proud of you all and excited to be doing this and on this journey with you. So thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I will be back next week with my week three weigh-in results. So I hope you will join me and see how well I am doing at, along with my private Facebook group and that is all I have for today. So have a wonderful, wonderful day if you want to. Thanks. <laughs>